all Australians are going to get a tax cut. The Guardian has released this poll by Essential of 1,200 people, which shows that about half of them favoured changing the Stage 3 tax cuts to help low- and middle-income earners. Yeah, and that doesn't really surprise me, given the original tax cuts were going to be mainly benefiting people at the top end of town and those on higher incomes. Look, what would have happened under the original changes is that there would have been a flat rate of 30% tax on anyone earning between $45,000 a year and $200,000 a year. The problem is that Anthony Albanese and a number of his ministers had promised a number of times that they were going to keep the tax cuts as legislated by Scott Morrison and his government in 2019. Yeah, but as we know, last week he broke that promise and the new plan is to reduce the tax cut for people on higher incomes and to give everyone a tax cut of some kind. Now, it's a pretty dangerous gamble, I would say, to break a political promise in Australia. We saw what happened with Julia Gillard, the carbon tax, Tony Abbott, the budget cuts. But in this case, I think it's going to be pretty hard for the opposition to make people outraged about this because the vast majority of people in Australia paying tax are going to get more money under this plan than they would have under the original plan. Mm. And Peter Dutton's already softened his language. He's already kind of changed it up over the weekend saying they're considering whether they're going to support these changes. And we have had a lot of listeners reach out saying, can you explain them in the plainest possible terms so we can understand what the changes are? So all Australians are going to get a tax cut, but those on incomes over $150,000 a year will get a lower amount than what they would have under the original plan. Let's use uh, the average wage of $75,000 a year as an example. So under the original plan, they would have received a tax cut of $750. Under the new plan, they're going to get back $1,600. So that's more than doubling what the original stage three tax cut promised was. On the other end of the spectrum, let's say you earn $200,000 a year and anyone earning that or over makes up about 5% of the Australian population, uh, you would have received $9,100 under the stage three tax cuts that were legislated. But under Labor's amendments to the legislation, it'll now be $4,500. So again, still a cut, just less. However, it is more for low and middle income earners. And as you said, I don't know how the coalition is going to go trying to convince voters that this is a bad move when majority of people are going to get more money.